Welcome Aries, y'all. I'm back with another video. This is going to be... I'm going to pull some, um, some Millennial Oracle. We're going to get the energy of the base, the base of the reading, and then we'll jump into the tarot. And then, um, if necessary, we're going to pull some advice, all right? So, stay tuned, guys. If you are new, welcome. All right, give me a message for Aries, please. All right, we got Insta Famous. It looks like some of y'all been trying to, like, level up, okay? Like, y'all been trying to level up. Some of y'all have been trying to, y'all been trying to level up, okay? You're trying to get TikTok famous, Instagram famous, um, Facebook famous, Bago, whatever they call, YouTube. Yeah, okay. But there's something that you could be in your feelings about. We got orbiting. You could be digitally observing a love interest, keeping tabs, staying connected, stalking. You got a crush or kind of like being a coward about something. All right, so tell me more. I need some more info. All right, so yes, far as your social media it does look like you guys are doing very well social. That's been on, I just did a previous reading a few minutes ago, and it was kind of like the same energy of like online. It has something to do with online. Some of you have been dating, and some of you may have gotten ghosted. This, this individual that you were dating online could have ghosted you or you ghosted them. The best thing for you to do was to bounce out of the situation because it was going to end bad anyway. They were too young, okay? So, let's see. What else? We got vibe. All right, so you've been trying to stay low-key because lately you've possibly been in your feelings. You may have been turned up, turned up a lot lately. So, you're trying to stay low-key now. Um, you've been slaying the scene. You're trying to kind of like chill out now, you know, catch a vibe right now. Slut shaming. So somebody's judging somebody. Okay, so there's somebody who could be following you or somebody that you could be following. Somebody is judging somebody based off of their appearance or based off of what they got going on on the internet. I feel like this situation is kind of like You're surprised. You're surprised. Oh, wow. Okay. So, we got somebody older who's trolling you. Okay. Somebody older who is trolling you. You could be younger than this person. You could be younger than this person. Some of y'all got a shake a mama, shake a daddy. Whatever it is, somebody's older and somebody's younger. Could be a really big age gap. Maybe I'm hearing three to ten years age gap. I feel like somebody was love bombing you. This person, this older person could have been love bombing you, which is kind of like trying to manipulate you. They may have had hidden intentions, but they were showering you with a lot of attention so they can influence your behavior. But I feel like that, oh, well, dang, all my cards just fell on the floor. <laughs> I feel like they could have been doing that. Um, they may have had intentions, but maybe it all of a sudden came to an end because, you know, it just came to an end. Okay? So, if any of this is making sense to you, we're going to jump into the tarot. Because I'm seeing you being in your feelings about someone that you were dating. Possibly online, this person could have been liking all of your pics, liking all of everything that you've been saying, 
liking their pictures, but I still see that there's like it's just some type of envy, and you're surprised by it. You felt played, um, and you could be feeling like you're missing out on something. I feel like you're missing out on something because I feel like this person love bombed you. Like they gave you a lot of attention, a lot of affection. They put a poured a lot into you, but they may have had hidden intentions. Why is fear of missing out here? Netflix and chill. Okay, so you and this person used to really kick it. Loud, high key. But yeah, somebody's salty because they got breadcrumb and got love. Yeah, somebody is saying, bye, Felicia. And somebody else wanted the relationship to really work. All right, so let's see what's going on with this person. Uh, I see you being in your feelings. Tell me more. What's going on with Aries? mind about Aries. Tell me more about this person. Tell me what's going on with this person. This person feel about Aries. All right, some of you could be dealing with the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, male, or a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, female, or this person can have this energy in their chart. Okay. Some this person feels like there are other people involved. They can't get it out of their head. Um, they think about this all the time. Yeah, they're not sure if they're if they're a good match for you. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, Seven of Swords, the first card that pops out. This person... This person thinks that you're not being honest or you're not telling the truth. Um, they could be trying to catch you, sneaking, cheating, doing anything. This person feels like you could be just telling them lies. That was the Eight of Swords here. Yeah. This person thinks that you're juggling. They think that you're juggling. They're, they are watching you. Page of Swords, they are spying on you. They are jealous as well, too. They're jealous. Why is the Seven of Swords? Yeah, Page of Wands. Okay, I'm hearing someone that you've been having intercourse with the whole time so this person thinks that you've been seeing somebody on the side the whole time why is the world here this person normally this is like a one again off again type of relationship thing like this cycle is closing because we got the world card here Yes, okay, so there could be a fire sign that they think that you are seeing. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. They're just waiting for their chance to get this out. This person could have been, I mean, I'm seeing a new car could have been involved. This person could have brought you a new car or was contemplating buying you a new car. They felt like you was like a celebrity or something. Six of Wands and a star. Like, they felt like you were like top notch. But they don't feel the love from you. They want you to give them some type of confidence and tell the truth about who you've been seeing. Um, this person legit thinks that you're... <laughs> this person legit thinks that you're, like, lying about something. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This person is like... Tell me about the judgment here. Okay, the whole truth. This person wants the truth. They want the truth. They're willing to, they're investigating, okay? 
they are searching, looking possibly either looking through your phone, looking through records, um, to see who your options was, see who, who you're juggling. And then I see the Ten of Swords coming up ahead. Yeah, we got the Wheel of Fortune. This person feels like things aren't going in their favor. Why is the will here? This person could have been married before. This person could have been married before. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? A Libra could be involved. This person like, oh, you think I'm slow? You think I'm slow? Like this person, is, whoever this is, this person does not trust what you're saying or what you're showing them. Now, your energy is the Magician and the Six of Wands. So, you're over here manifesting. And you're doing a damn good job with the Six of Wands. But your intuition was telling you. Your intuition could have been telling you, hey, let me start crying or something. Let me start acting crazy. Let me, because this person, they over here tripping. They over here tripping. This could have happened, something could have happened during a period of you and this person being separated. But, you know, um, the way that this person is handling it and things that they're saying and how they're moving, it's like, oh, my intuition telling me, like, I need to show out right quick. Do I need to show them? What do I need to do to get them to believe me? Now, this person, they feel like they took a leap of faith when they where they shouldn't have. They feel like they should have kept their guard up. They feel like they let their guard down. Could be a Taurus. But this person says, look, I'm a good noodle. I'm a good noodle. <laughs> I'm not laughing at it. I'm just... <laughs> Listen. Hierophant and the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords... This person could be, um, maybe you're married to and you're separated from this person, but this person said, hey, I'm, I'm being good to you. Why the Queen of Swords here? But this person wants a serious commitment, okay? This person wants a serious, something serious. And they're like, if you don't want, if you didn't want anything serious, then why are you holding on to me? Why are you keeping me around? Why are you keeping me around? This person that you're dealing with, they want something more serious. Like, they feel like you aren't giving them that and you're possibly seeing someone else, okay? So let me, let's get this person's intentions. Let's dive a little bit deeper. Show me this person's intentions towards the Aries, please. Oh, okay. Now we got karmic relationship. And girl talk in paradise. Okay, we got the Grim Reaper here in separation. For some of you, this is a marriage that could be headed towards divorce because somebody is playing games with somebody's involving other people. Okay, there's the snake and seduction here. Um, karmic relationship is here. This is triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. So this person in their head, they're like, is this karma? You know, 
like, what's going on? Then they're talking to their friends about it. They're getting their time in with their friends. But then we got paradise. So this is more of like the four of wands energy. Like I feel like for some of you, this could be a marriage, but it's a separation period or headed towards a divorce. Um, someone could have stepped out and got into a karmic situation. Yeah, we got this person feels stabbed in the back by you. They're heartbroken. This person over here is heartbroken. They are definitely spying on you. For sure, for sure. But they're heartbroken. They want the truth. They're trying to get some clarity. Um, and But they do, like, they want stability, security. They want something permanent. They want growth. They want you to be flexible with them. Like, I feel like this person wants the, the real deal. This person wants the real deal with you. Are you willing to give them that? That's the question because it seems like the ball is in your court at this time. Just judging off of how this person is expressing themselves and what this person is feeling, how, you know, what they have to say. It just seems like you guys, like, have the final say in this moment. Okay? So, y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao for now.